The first award is in honor of Andrew Weil. And many of you know who he is, the bald guy, the big white beard, the amazing leader in integrative medicine, but who wrote the books Natural Mind and the, the best drug education book ever written, From Chocolate to Morphine. Really an outstanding one. To present that award, I'm going to ask a, one of the earlier awardees to come up here, Marsha Rosenbaum, the founder of Safety First, a previous award. Marsha, please come up here to present this award. Thank you. The Drug Education Award, named after Andrew Weil, who really was seminal in offering edu real education, real honest science ed education to teenagers. And so it is my pleasure to be able to award two people, two great educators, Chuck Reese, who is the founder, the creator of the best drug education program for teenagers that exists. He's been at it for years. Um, I'm so proud of him. And finally, this is getting out and into schools. First harm reduction drug education ever. And the other awardee is um, a colleague, my co-author, Jerry Beck, who is prolific is a scholar, has provided us with a history of drug education going back a hundred years, and um, with whom I think I've shared lots of experiences and lots of information and done research with, and so I'd like to present this award. So you, you guys are going to have to come up here. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, I just want to really quickly, before I go into my thank yous for everyone, uh, just to recall a time that was very optimistic for me, and as I feel once again energized by what DPA is doing, and to my co-honoree, which is really, we're going to take this on the road, and he's going to make it work. Um, and this time, we're going to prove that it's a success when I was first started was back in this brief time during the 100 years of our drug war in the, during the Carter administration when the federal government had responsible drug use education as an official policy and NIDA was promoting that all the way up until Reagan was elected. Uh, but I had the good fortune of working at the University of Oregon Drug Information Center with some great people founded by Mark Miller who I still work with up in Portland, Oregon. and. Uh, after going down to Berkeley and working with Marsha, Sheila Murphy, uh, and others, uh, I've kind of become reinvested in drug education, and that's really where I'm going forward with. Uh, let me get my thank yous out here before uh, we run out of my two minutes. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank. Uh, Robin Room, who's going to be honored here later, is on my dissertation committee, gave me incredible advice on the dissertation and moving forward, uh, wonderful editing. And I should thank Craig Reinerman for helping Marsha and I with our book. I always remember that I try not to have articles whimper to a close, and uh, you know, it's always in the back of my mind. Otherwise, the previous honorees for this award, Rod, Marsha, Rod Skager, uh, Dance Safe and Arrowhead, two groups that I always recommend in every art presentation that I give, I hand out a one-page recommended websites for moving forward. So even with a one-shot presentation, they, people have somewhere they can turn to, and hopefully I've energized to do that into the future. Folks like Rick Doblin, who's been here, uh, other people like Ken Tupper from Canada, a lot of great things happening outside of the U.S. We're going to make things happen in the U.S. And lastly, Jerry Otero, who's really been kind of masterminding this whole thing. And uh, I'll let Chuck go from here. 
Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Is, is this on? Um, what a long, strange trip it's been, I have to say. It's really, it's, it's really an honor, a very deep honor for me to be here, and I want to thank everybody quickly, um, all the folks at DPA, for their many years, decades of support and, and love and, and feedback uh, without, without them. Without you, Marsha, without you, Ethan, um, none of this would have been possible. Um, I want to thank all the students at Oakland High School for having been honest enough with us to tell us what worked and what didn't. Um, and I want to thank Jerry Beck, who in 1988 was the teacher in a class that I was taking. And he was quoting Stanton Peel, who was, who was criticizing the 12-step program, and I was so offended. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs>